Behind the scenes, Graham Norton likes nothing more than spending time with his pet dog, Bailey. Perfect experience, we thought, to send him to see how the wolves are getting on and find out what we can do to help. After a 4,000 mile journey, Graham arrived in the southernmost part of the Ethiopian highlands, the Bali Mountains. I just think when you come up here, it sort of really makes sense why so few people have seen an Ethiopian wolf, because <laughs> you've got to get here to see them. And this hopefully gives people at home some small idea of just how remote this place is. I mean, nothing for as far as the eye could see. So why, in such a vast and seemingly unspoilt wilderness, are there just a handful of wolves? I've come here to see what's being done to protect the wolves' fragile existence. My home for the week is a research campsite on the roof of Africa. Well, it's amazing doing anything, you really feel how high up you are. Over three and a half thousand meters or 10,000 feet. And uh, yeah, you feel every little thing you do. But the thing about camping is, if somebody told me I had to live in this for the rest of my life, clearly I'd be very depressed. But you know, it's a few days, you'll you know just get on with it. And you know that there's something luxurious at the end of it, like your house. It might not be the height of comfort, but at least I won't be lonely. Perhaps that's not such a good thing. In the middle of our camp are all these giant mole rat burrows. And uh, every now and again, they just pop up. And despite the name, giant mole rat, they are actually very cute. And apparently they're the main, the main thing for uh, the wolf suite. And they're quite big. I mean, it would be your lunch. Not your dinner, maybe, but your lunch. Oh, there's one. I don't quite know how the wolves managed to catch them. It's a good game though, isn't it? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I see the wolves can catch them. They're quite stupid. <laughs> Hello, giant human right here. <laughs> I assumed that spotting a wolf was going to be really tricky. But as they say in the bush, if you want to find a predator, first find the prey. And we were already on top of that. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Wow. Well spotted. Given that there are so few of these animals, that's amazing. Just, you know, a couple of hours in, there was one. So we can sort of go now, can't we? 